We sold Amanda Scarola, we gave back Tim's work car, we bought a van and we're going to live in it for four months. Been away for two weeks. We left the town of 1770 campground this morning in the rain, so we just threw everything in the back. It was wet and it's a bit smelly, threw it in there, and now we have to transfer it to the van. We're just about to pick up our van. Try fit in a van. We found a undercover area where we're going to sneakily swap everything over because obviously it's pouring. We had to find somewhere that had really high entry level because we need to get the ski in and often we can't fit in undercover car parks with the ski on the roof. So we're going to swap everything that's in here, everything that's in the car from our two week camping trip over to the van and then we'll just have to do the ski later because otherwise that van won't get out of here with the ski on the roof. And we found our first problem. Not gonna work. You're feeling a bit overwhelmed. You're completely overwhelmed. We've got 19 days to go, um, and then we're moving into, our, uh, into the van, so it's all happened a little bit faster than we were planning. So we managed to destroy this place in one day. So, so we're taking five containers only, so one each for clothes. One for cooking equipment, one for food, and then the other one's just a other well, stuff. Plus my work one. So everywhere you look, there's just stuff. Open cupboards while we try and work out what we're taking. Problem fixed. We had to buy a tow ball extender so that we could open and close the back door with the bike rack on. Is that what you want? I've got to get down in there somehow. So I think I have to take the seats out. And then... Um I can get in there. Next job, removing the divider and the back seats. We bought our flooring from Clark Rubber. So this stuff here is this thick, it's an underlay, and we're going to cut strips they're going to fit in this groove and maybe stick it down because you can see the carpet here and there's a lip there's underlay there only in the groove bits and then we've got these tiles which we're going to cut to size they're quite thick too which will go in the back There was carpet where the back seats were and we just added the underlay strips and mats to the very back section of the van. Next step was to buy our bed. We wanted something that could be a couch during the day and a full size bed at night and it had to be comfortable. We headed to Ikea and found exactly what we were looking for. and lie on it. 
I put my head right at the end. Look, my feet are, <laughs> my toes will dangle, but I don't really sleep like that. You know, you kind of sleep like this sort of thing. Oh, it works. <laughs> so we got this little bit here. But it works. Oh, now we have to try awesome. it with the mattress. Oh, honey, it works. Does it even touch? It doesn't even touch. Oh, how good is that? Brilliant. It's like it was made to go. How do you put it back? Let's have a look. Let's have a go. I think this is going to be the hard part. I'm going to have to, have to be on my knees. You lift this up. And don't forget you've got a mattress. Do it's going to be a two-person two two job and you might have to go from that side. You've got, to sort of, no, you've got to lift it in the middle kind of. But I can't, there's going to be a mattress on there. I don't know. Jesus, I almost fell out of it. <laughs> Where can I do it from the side? Yeah, try. Okay. Okay. It's got to go this way a bit. But we're going to have to get the mattress off. That's not this. Alright, let's see the way back. Perfect. Yes. Oh, look, I'm just there. That's all right, I'll just sit back like that. How comfy is this? If I sit right back, I'll just yeah, hit it. You never sit, sit like that. And if you put pillows there, oh, you can just lay. Really comfortable. Wow. This will flatten out our ruggy bit. This is great. It's going to be a shit to close up and open up. With two of us. And we just want to do it because we want this room during the day. Yeah. Do you love it? Love it. This is perfect. This is so comfortable. Look at it. Look at that. This band is huge. So, it just comes straight down. Done. Perfect. Look, we can have that open. And we can sit here, if we backed up against the beach, look at that. Huh? It's perfect. It's better than I thought. This bed was made to go here. <laughs> We had a practice night at Noosa because we wanted to mountain bike and run it to Wanton. We were a bit excited about being in the van and we forgot to take any video.
taken a bit of practice, but we've worked out how to open and close it fairly easily. Track mate when you can. Thanks mate. Gindia Drive, Garmin Hill. Noosa Triathlon comes up here. It goes straight ahead, of course. But being a mountain biker today, we're going here. Reminds me a bit of elevator on the Gold Coast at, at Narang. The people you run into in the bush. There you go. See you at our house. In our next video we'll give you a full van tour of the different things we've done to our van, how it's set it up during the day, how it's set up at night, what things we've found are great and what things we still need to work on. Stay tuned for that. <laughs>